right. Nicole, I'm going to let you take the floor. All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Happy Thursday. Let's get going. Um, we're going to do our little interval. So we'll be doing some cardio bursts with that resistance training, tossing in some legs and arms. So we'll do a bunch of different things. Take it at your speed. Um, ask me questions if you need a recommendation for a different exercise if it's not quite suiting you well. All right, so let's start off in that nice jog. Let's just warm up. So find like a home base. So home base is gonna be where you are able to have a conversation. You can breathe pretty comfortably. You could be here for quite a while. So it's our good recovery pace here, warm up pace. Get those arms going. You can go ahead and do some stepping, high knees. I'm gonna move my computer back up a little bit more. This is the problem with being tall on Zoom. I cut my head off all the time when I stand up. So getting those knees up high, you can sit, get those knees going. Maybe it's just your arms. Can you hear me okay still if I'm that far back? Cool. Yeah. I'm trying out a new headset, so I'm not sure like how loud I actually have to talk. Pick up that pace a little bit more. You're gonna have to help me with volume again because Susanna told me the bet like perfect volume and I forgot to mark the number down. <laughs> Pick it up. A little faster, a little harder. Squeeze. Stand up, sit up nice and tall. Drop those shoulders away from your ears. Come back down home, slow back down. Out into jumping jacks. So if you're seated, big star jack. So wide arms, if you're seated or standing, big arms, you can hop out one leg at a time. Maybe it's one leg at a time here. Stepping. Higher impact, full jumping jacks. And remembering that if you can't use those arms, just focusing on that core and leg movement. Staying light in those toes wherever you are at. You can keep your arms nice and low. If you need to, you can go low, bent arms. Keep it going. Big star jacks, bent arm jacks, wherever you are. So I'm going to give a couple modifications and extra modifications today, you all. So you stay wherever feels good to you in that series. You can try different things with me or just stay right where it feels good to you. For three, two, one. Drop those shoulders down. Nice work. Let those shoulders drop down away from your ears. Pull that belly button in towards your spine, up towards your ribs. Grow that spine a little longer. Let those shoulders sink down away from your ears. Hands might be down to your side, reaching them down towards the ground, super active, down through those fingertips. Pull that neck back. So pull that neck back in line with your spine here. Shoulders, get that quadruple chin in then release. You are just going straight back, so parallel chin to the ground, squeeze the back of your neck. Two, one, release. Nice work, keep that nice tall posture. Take it back into a home base run. You've got 10 seconds here, just bringing that heart rate back up, getting those knees going. Sitting or standing. And then we're gonna do another 10 seconds of jack, same tall posture that you have now. So go into that jack. So big star jacks, low bent arm jacks, maybe just your legs. Stepping up. Nice, so stepping. Maybe even giving yourself a slight squat if you are standing. So your knees are bent. Two. One, nice work. Catch your breath, grab a sip of water if you need. We're gonna start with bicep curls this morning. So elbows glued to your side. Favorite 
resistance. Ready to get some resistance. Palms up through the first round. And pump it up for 10. Just arm weight is fine too. Keep that nice tall posture that we started class with. Two. One. Nice work. Palms curled down or face down this time. Arms up to shoulders. Reverse curls here working your triceps. So pressing out. If that is too much for your shoulders, calf raises here. So up on your toes and back down. Up and down. Add a challenge. You can go up and down on those toes if you really want to test your balance if you're sitting. Keep those elbows glued to your side. Press those arms straight. Bring them up. Focus on that press. Keep it going. Two. One. Nice work. Shake it out, maybe keep that light resistance and go into a little jog. Catch your breath, we're gonna do two sets of those. How's everyone feeling so far? I'm all good. <laughs> all right. Three, two, one, nice work. Shake that out. Here we go. Bicep curls. This time, come up into a thumbs up bicep curl. Hammer curls up to your shoulders. Press them down. Elbows stay glued to those sides. Wherever you're at, fire up those abs. Make sure your core muscles there are supporting your low back. You're standing, slight bend in the knees so that you're not locking out. Three, two, one. Awesome. Reset, palms down, elbows glue in, press your arms down. Really focusing on that extension, that straightening of the arm. Press it out. Breathe. You've got three, two, one. Awesome, weights down to the side, going into those bent arm jacks. Add some resistance if you want. So we're all gonna be in bent arms now, either keeping them low or bringing them up higher, bent arm jacks and step it out if you want to add some legs. Weights or no weights. Wherever you're at, keep those muscles controlled. Keep it going for three, two, one. Nice work. Weights drop down to the side. Drop those shoulders away from your ears. So we're gonna just warm up your shoulders a little bit more before we go overhead. So thumbs up, we're going up in Y's. So arms start right by your pot where your hips are, and then you're gonna lift. You can go just a little bit here. Just getting a little bit of motion through those shoulders. Making sure that your shoulders stay down away from your ears through the whole motion. Beautiful. If we are just working legs today, then you're going to go into some clamshells here. So clamshells, you're going to keep your legs, go out and in with those knees if you're working just your legs. Otherwise, 
what you can do, just getting a little motion through those shoulders. Doesn't have to be full. Two. One. Nice work, palms face down, reach straight up in front of you, shoulder height, and back down. So up into our eyes. Super active from shoulders to fingertips. Three, two, one. Nice work. <laughs> Grab, um, <coughs> excuse me, a band maybe or some weights. We're going to do a little bit of, or just your arms, a little boxing for our cardio. So bands behind your back. I am a full supporter. If anyone wants to do these exercises about dancing or like at least a head bob, because come on, this is a cool remix. I'm obsessed with Journey. <laughs> yes. So here we go. Punch it out. Keeping those arms nice and long. If you just want to work legs, high knees here or little kicks. So reach up and kick towards the screen. So straight forward towards that screen. Beat, punch, 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 punch. If you want to keep with the beat. But pace yourselves here. Two. One. Relax those arms, shoulders. Nice work, take maybe a little wider stance. Especially if you are standing, we're gonna cross our body. So we wanna get our core, those abs rotating around. So we're in a wide stance, knees bent, wide stance sitting, and we're gonna cross with a punch. Fire up those abs in and out, or in and up. Here we go. Nice and slow and controlled. If you're working just your legs, you're gonna just step across and bring your knee kind of in an angle across your body. Here we go, three. Two, one, punch it up. Take a break as you need. Take it over. Drop the resistance if you need to. Crunch that side a little. Back forward. Well, cardio and resistance here in one, two, one more across. Three, two, one, take a rest. Nice work, release that band, set down the weight, take it into home base, take a little jog, catch your breath here. Active recovery. Awesome. All right, next round, we're gonna do some shoulder presses up overhead. Actually, let's give your shoulders up overhead a break since we just punched up. Well, we're gonna switch to exercises. So we're gonna start with rows. So band underneath your feet maybe, and then we're gonna row back, squeezing those shoulder blades. You can also keep that band in front of you, hands close, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Weights work great. If you are doing just legs today, then we're gonna do little squats. So just little, Squat down, stand up, and or 
knees straight up to your chest. Here we go. You pick your challenge. We're going rows. Two, one, squeeze it back. You're standing just doing rows, knees are bent, back is flat. Squeeze. Same thing sitting, back should be nice and flat. Abs fired up and engaged. Three, two, elbow shoot straight back behind you. Last one. Nice work. Release that, shake that out. We're gonna stay here on rows. Change up the angle just a little bit. So maybe that's, we're gonna go into single arm rows. So if you are standing, maybe you split stance into like a more of a lunge or just staggered stance. Same thing sitting, you can kick a foot back. We're gonna go single arm rows. So you're gonna hinge forward. And then we're gonna just row back. You can balance yourself on a knee. We're gonna do one arm for 10. If it feels better to stick with two arms, then stay in two. If you're working just like staggered stance in sitting or standing, <clears throat> And the little knee bends, squeeze, two, last, one. Nice work, switch sides, reset those abs, protect that low back, fire it up, row it back for 10. One side might be different than the other. That's why we like to do one arms at a time. Squeeze. Shoulder stays down away from your ears. You're just driving back with that shoulder blade. Three. Two. One. Awesome, release that, nice work. Shake that out. <clears throat> Recover here, active recovery back to home. Out into your version of jacks. So maybe big star jacks, maybe bent arm jacks. Maybe it's just jack legs stepping it up. Nice and slow. If you're working just your legs when we do this, you can always toss resistance around them. Three, two, one, shake that out. We're going overhead shoulder presses. So we're gonna keep those arms out on wide goal posts and we're gonna press straight up towards the sky. If you're doing just legs, then you're gonna just do straight leg raises. So one foot's gonna Flex back, you're gonna lift your legs straight up and down. Otherwise, grab that resistance, goal post arms, wrist straight, fire up those abs, push it up. Slow it down here, wherever you're at. Up, up, down, down. There you go. You can keep your arms nice and low as well and just do little raises here. They don't have to go up overhead. Get in two more. And then down, nice work. Take one weight maybe in your hand. We're going straight up in front of you. Fire up those abs first. So we're gonna add a little core into this little ab exercise. So pull your belly button in towards your spine, up towards your ribs, grow that spine nice and long. You want shoulders drop down, 
And then if you want the added weight, weight is out in front of you, shoulders down, we're gonna lift up to shoulder height and back down. For three, two, next one, hold it up. Bring it in towards your chest, push it back out. For three, two, one, nice work, come down. Then add a challenge if you want, find a better balance, a different balance point for yourself. So that might be hinging back so you're a little bit more in a V sit. Might be dropping your weight, maybe coming up on your toes or putting your legs closer together. The closer your legs are, the harder your balance. So find that balance point. Fire up those abs, same thing. Nice and long through your spine. We're going straight up and down. You can do this exercise seated on the ground too. Thumbs are up. Three, two, hold it up. Push it out and in. Nice and slow, slow it down. Take a three count out, three count in. Out, out, pause, in, in. Two more, just like that. Last one. Nice work. Come up, sit up nice and tall. Open those arms out to the side. Take those arms up overhead, inhale, exhale over to the other side. Inhale up, exhale over to the other side. And keep your arms low and just side bend just a little bit over to this two. Get a little stretch to that side, inhale up, exhale, arms drop. Down, bring one arm across your chest. Give those wrists a little roll. Open up wide, other side. Same thing, legs, stretching those legs out. One leg at a time. Open up wide. One more big inhale, grow that spine long. That might just be your arms staying down to your side. Grow that spine, exhale, don't lose that length. Tuck that chin back, pull it back one more time. And release, nice work everyone. Is 